decided to leave Cross Harbor today after only one night rest just because the Nordalies are gonna kick in and either we spend three four nights here or we spend three nights in the next destination which we prefer because we haven't been there which is Iamba so we are going to go motor sailing for the looks of it Denim is not very happy about it but he agreed and um, here we go hopefully there's a bit of breeze for some screecher the screecher is our afterburner anytime the sail is up Rio is hiking along at good speeds sailing though is a strange thing mostly there's either not enough wind and you're wishing for it to blow or far too much and you're dreaming of a light wind motor sail Today was mostly not enough wind, but we have a small entertainment machine on board by the name of Kaya. Pretty good walking skills. 11 months, rocking boat, no trouble. Inspecting the boat. Checking the sails. Eventually we got 11 knots of wind at 80 degrees on the port side. Rio took off and the crew is happy. <laughs> All while sailing at seven and a half to eight knots. Today is a short day sail to Yamba on the north coast of New South Wales. It's only 65 nautical miles and we are aiming to time our arrival with the high tide. All my friends have up and gone. Most of them have fallen in love. They're getting married too young. She's moving away and follow Jesus in this part of me. In this part of me. Well, this is a rare sight. We had a great sail at the start, great wind, great pace, but wind died. Now we're motor sailing. We only got about 25 nautical miles to go, so uh, not a major issue. Not my favourite thing to be motoring along, but um, sometimes it makes a nice change. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh. The Australian East Coast is known for its hectic bar crossings. How about this guy? And while we won't be doing that, Yamba is one of the more difficult ones. We timed it perfectly with the high tide, but there is a 2 meter easterly swell and breaking waves near the entrance. Yamba has a shifting sandbar just south of the break wall, and when the deep swell hits, the waves rise up. You have to keep your boat steady and ride them through. Don't go too much to port, I think. Thankfully, the largest wave crossed underneath and broke in front of us. Our timing was pure luck. Wow, we just surfed a big wave in. <gasps> Mom and Dad need nappies. <laughs> <laughs> 
The reward though, one of the best anchorages, if not the best, on the east coast, the Aluka Fishing Harbour. Protected in all weather, no wind against tide issues, mud bottom holding, pure deep sleeping bliss. By the next day, the swell had already cranked up. On the left, there are the waves of the northern break wall. On the right, that denim surfing head high waves inside the harbour entrance where we sailed in the day before. Yamba is truly a saltwater paradise. There are multiple anchorages on both the Yamba and the Aluka side. The fishing is insane. The surf is second to none. Have a look at that coastline. And it has a small coastal town feel about it with lots of pubs and watering holes. Oh, straight back to it. Oh my god. Shake out the arms. Come on. Go shake out lactic acid. Shake it out. Shake it out. Get ready for the next set. Good girl. She's more hardcore than me. Morning workout. Done. Good job. We'd love to stay here longer, but I have to get back to work. So onwards to the Gold Coast. Ciao, Yamba, Luca. Beautiful place. So we are sailing north. We are finally going back to Queensland, back to the wall. Having a great little sail at the moment, and our little sailor, who we're so very proud of, is now sleeping without the engine on in a rocking boat with water slapping as we're sailing into the wind at about 18 knots. The Yamba to the Goldie is only a hundred odd nautical miles, but it does include rounding the easternmost tip of the Australian coastline, Byron Bay. We sail against three and even four knot currents here, so pick your weather window carefully. Ah, uh, the Goldie. At night, she rises up out of the water like an Aussie Miami. We've crossed this bar enough to be confident to do it at night. It's nearly 11 p.m. and we are arriving in the Gold Coast. We can see the coastline, all the buildings. A little bit late, but not too bad. Kind of like we forecasted. And the pumpkin is slick. I had a little snooze and the captain's been busy. For the night arrivals, anchoring here on the north side of Wave Break Island is a good spot. Then it was morning push ups and time to parade down the broad water. And finally, we could soak up some sunshine. What do you think, Mom? Oh, I'm so happy. Look at this weather. The girl from Rio really likes the Gold Coast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
Run. Somebody like pancakes? Wow, look at that! <laughs> hey, blueberry face. <laughs> Don't get you get the blueberry mitts on me.